as big as you can possibly imagine. The world of the electrical engineer spans everything to the minute that you can't even see, to the things that are so big you can't even see them. So if you're here for a lab tour in electrical and computer engineering, please meet here. These things not only are smaller and you can pack more of them on the same chip, when they become smaller, they perform better. What I'm showing you here is what we call a nanotube forest. There's the electronics and multimedia group. They do all sorts of cool things, which obviously 3D, this is a new technology that we're seeing in the movie theaters. Welcome to the Radio Science Lab's uh, EMC lab. So the whole point of this room here is to stop any wireless signals outside of this room from getting in. Okay, now I invite you to try and make a call. Put some layer up. down there. Yeah. So it's and then you layer take the layer, layer out. Or you build up the layer. Yeah. It goes up. And so the whole area here is like a restricted area. We can see here the design of a chip that, that you know, gets to fabrication. I want to show you one chip that is recently been fabricated and under the microscope over there. You just have these three probes here that you know go uh, in three different places in your body. You try to find the heart. So you would put this on the right arm. Do some of the drilling on the bone. Is biology acquired uh, before you go in? Our field, so we're working in the power field, right? We deal with everything from the generation, like we deal with these machines, to um, power distribution and power transmission. Well, photonic integrated circuits, the, the eventual goal is to be able to integrate light transportation with electronics on a chip. In plant leaves, photosynthetic proteins, we add ours, we harvest those leaves, we extract these proteins, which are in quite high concentration. We then have the active material for our solar cells, so it's extremely low cost.